All right, you guys. Welcome to Tangents with Toby. I know I said I was going to take a little bit of time off, but after TJ approached me and said that he wants to do a show with me, to tell you the truth, it made me feel like I need to start doing shows again. It's just, it encouraged me. So today, what I'm going to be doing is talking about the five must-haves that every male should have. I realized this a few days ago, well actually a few weeks ago, when I grabbed something, kind of swung it, not thinking too much, and I had, uh, what the hell, oh there we go, had coffee beans fly everywhere. So I'm looking at it going, oh I can't pick that up. God damn. I freaking need a shop vac. And that is number one. Every male should have a shop vac. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That is the number one thing that everybody should have is a shop vac. Trust me. Lately, there's been a lot of times where, yeah, it... It's a must have, just no doubt about it. Number two, a nose and ear trimmer. As I get older, I realize my nose hairs are getting longer and start poking out. Ear hair, you know, you go, you scratch, and all of a sudden you could feel something. So when you start pulling, you get like a one foot long ear hair. So of course you have to pull it out. Then I seen this one old guy who had ear hair and it, it looked like a cotton ball stuck in his ear. It wasn't as white, but it was gray. And it's like, I don't want my ears to look like that. No. So, with my, one day I was at Dollarama and I looked and for $4, you got an ear and nose hair trimmer. And let me tell you, for four bucks, that thing is freaking awesome. It had two attachments, uh, one for your nose and ear. Then the other one had kind of like a razor for your sideburns or trimming up stuff like that. And also, yeah. So I bought it. It works great. I've used it. Uh, no complaints. Every man should freaking have an ear and nose trimmer, hair trimmer. Thirdly, the thing that they should have in their j- battles through the world is a very good knife set. Why? Because when you're cooking on a barbecue, sometimes you just need a sharp knife to cut through the meat, cut through the fat, and everything like that, test it. And playing with dull stuff, not good. Cutting tomatoes, cutting onions, cutting potatoes. You need a very good knife set. Plain and simple. Cooking, it doesn't matter if you're single or if you have a family. Always work with the best. Number four. Really? Really? We're only at four minutes and I'm almost powering through this. Oh, well, it's a quick show. Everybody loves it quick. (laughs) Except for females. Balloon tits. Um, Okay, number four. Speaking about cooking, men should have a slow cooker or a pressure cooker like the Instapot. And you're thinking to yourself, why? Why would you want to do something like that? Believe me, with the amount of quick food you can make in the Instant Pot, it's unbelievable. The one, excuse me, the one thing that I like about the Instant Pot, as well as a slow cooker, it's a one pot cleanup. You can basically also turn the Instant Pot into a slow cooker so there's like so many different things that you can do 
for I'm gonna use an example I don't care if you like chili I'm just using it as the example because with chili you know you have your pots and things like that your pan depending on who makes it hmm? all right if you just have plain chili throw it in the instapot set it on simmer or sear cook that meat once that's all done you set the time put all your ingredients in set it for four hours eight hours depending on the temperature and you walk away you have six to eight hours for your food to cook so you could go to the track you could go mountain bike you could play video games you could do extra chores things like that like it is one of the most underused underrated tools that a guy could actually use in his arsenal for everyday life another thing you could actually do is if you have ground beef fry up say half a pound let it cool bag it put it in the freezer if you want chili not a problem you just take it you dump it in you let it defrost throw your ingredients in wham bam thank you man six hours later you got chili roast fuck oh, come on that roast seriously could not get any easier than with a slow cooker throw your meat in throw your mini potatoes throw your baby corn in if you want celery that's easy enough to cut up into little slices throw in your seasoning set it for eight hours bam supper you got your roast it's beautiful all right getting hungry you're getting hungry let's mosey on and finally the last thing that every man should have is your mother's phone number on speed dial as number one and that is everything all right <laughs> you're like come on man explain all right all right i'll explain i'll explain one of the reasons why i said this particular one is because there are times in a man's life you need to ask your mom for a question or a favor for example how many minutes do i put the turkey in the microwave for to cook it and it's about a 20 pound turkey she'll tell you straight up you're an idiot but if you do have a turkey you put it in the oven she will actually help you out tell you tips tricks trades um if you like the other day i talked to my mom and there was a few meals that i had back in the day that she would make that i loved like for example mushroom soup and rice or mushroom soup and pasta she told me the recipes so you have your water you have your mushroom soup bring it to a boil then you take two cans of rice plop it in put it down until it's all done that's it and it is a very nice side dish that is absolutely good then with the pasta you make the pasta you take your mushroom soup you plop it in you mix it around you just let it sit for a couple minutes and that's it that's it it's kind of a creamy mushroom goodness and i did ask her years ago but i really screwed it up so this time i took a screenshot of the two recipes and i'm not losing them but at the same time i still have my mom to phone and kind of help out so there's just little good things here and there Alrighty, well thank you for tuning in to another wonderful episode of tangents with toby oh that's weird um if you have any questions, comments, tangentswithtoby at gmail.com. And head over to tan or bio.link forward slash tangents. I'm still working on it. I do have 
places where you can check out my top five, my book, and story times. Still working on it. Just chill. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you later, and yeah, like I said in my little bonus thing, I am going to be getting TJ and Emery up on the show. Let's show them some love when I do post it. Give them, you know, a little something happy to smile at. Show them that anything's possible. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Stay out of trouble.